In science, we use cutting-edge technology and recent inventions to aid our never-ending search for answers. One such tool is the particle accelerator. By smashing particles against one another, we learn a great deal about our origins, our makeup, and our reality. Hey, Jay here. Welcome back to Plasma Channel. Particle accelerators don't need to be industrial-sized. In fact, we can make something similar that'll fit on your kitchen table. It's incredibly easy, very safe, and according to conspiracy theorists, opens up a portal into the demon world. I don't know, that's a thing. So buckle up, Buttercup. Today we're making a ping pong ball particle accelerator, or PPBPA. The ping pong ball accelerator is great to experiment with, and it's also an excellent demonstration of the principles behind industrial accelerators. In industrial accelerators, subatomic particles are accelerated to near light speed in order to have enough energy to break apart. The most common method for doing so is using a LINAC, or linear accelerator. They're fairly simple. A charged particle is placed in a tube under vacuum. An alternating electric field is applied down the length of the vacuum at such a frequency that the particle is pushed along in a linear trajectory accelerated by each incremental charge oscillation. It's a little more complicated than that, but that's the basic concept. Linux are brilliant. However, you can create the same effect by alternating the charge of the particle and keeping the surroundings at a steady charge. The ping pong ball does just that. It switches from positive to negative, and back and forth as it cycles around. All right, so here's how to build one of these things. You only need a couple of supplies. First, grab yourself aluminum foil tape, which can be found at Home Depot. Also, grab a ping pong ball and coat it in conductive zinc paint. And lastly, find yourself a glass or ceramic bowl, and make sure the bowl is completely curved and smooth. For the power source, it needs between 5 and 10,000 volts DC. I use the mini Wimschurst. Now go ahead and take your glass or ceramic bowl and place two strips of aluminum foil tape so that they intersect right in the middle. Then in the exact middle of all the quadrants, place more aluminum foil tape, taking great care to leave about an inch and a half of space between all of the strips and leaving about an inch overhanging on the edge. Next, apply the overhanging tape to the underside and then connect up all four of the tabs on the bottom with more aluminum foil tape forming a square, specifically on the bottom. Once the aluminum tape is down, round off the edges using a knife. And then find a really cool stand to put the accelerator on. I found an old car part that did the trick. Finally, this needs a power source. Negative high voltage connects to the underside strips and positive high voltage connects to the strips that are exclusively on top. If it's been built right, it'll start itself and choose a random direction. With each cycle, it gains speed and climbs higher up the edge, higher and higher until it reaches an equilibrium point. I found that boosting the current of the power source makes a big difference in performance. I simply put two Wimshurst generators in parallel. Really did the trick. Now how this thing works is deceptively simple, and that's usually the case for a lot of processes in science that seem really complex. Actually, they break down into really simple steps. So here's how this thing works. When it comes to electric charges, similar charges repel and opposite charges attract. That's the whole concept. As the ball rolls around, it comes into contact with alternating strips of aluminum foil tape. The ball begins by contacting one strip. Immediately, it shares the same charge as that strip and is repelled away towards the next strip, which has the opposite charge. So it is repelled away and pulled in the same direction. It then contacts the next strip and the cycle repeats indefinitely. And voila, we've got acceleration, even though it's being accelerated in an opposite method of an industrial accelerator. So there you have it, the ping pong ball particle accelerator, also known as a ball cyclotron. Uh, a quick disclaimer, first, uh, these don't function very well in a high humidity environment. Also, don't forget, you're probably going to open up a demon portal. That'll be on you. I don't know. 
Thanks for stopping by, and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to Plasma Channel. Check us out on other social media, and feel free to check out our various other episodes. With science every two weeks, you stay classy.